Hi guys, it's Marta Pearly Fanny, and welcome to the December 2013 contest special video. So the winner of the December 2013 contest was Hammer B Pattern. So me and her contacted and we got this whole video plan for you. So for the tutorial, she picked the uh, train. For the five tips, she picked the five tips for your craft area. And for the fun thing, she let me invite my sister over. So I'm so excited to show you guys this video. Congrats to her. So let's go get started. So for today's activity, I will be showing you guys how to make these really cute trains. And now I already told you I made trains. But anyway, this is just really cute. I love the smoke coming out of the wheels and just it's all colorful. So it's really awesome. I'm so excited to show you guys how to make these. So for today's activity, you will be needing six different colors so for the blue you can do any colors you want for these but for the blue you need 30 for the brown for the wheels you can do black but i didn't i don't i'm running out of black so i'm not gonna do black you will need 10 of those and for the stopper right here you're going to need three of those for the smoke i recommend gray or black so you will need four of these and then for the green you will need four and for the windows, you will need four, a lot of fours. So for today's activity, you'll be needing perler beads, a square pegboard, wax paper, and of course an iron. So first, we're going to go ahead and get out our winter color, which mine is yellow. And you're going to go ahead and make a 2 by 2 square, which is four. For the basic train color, what we're going to do now is go ahead and put a square all around it. With your topping color, which mine is green, which is four, go ahead and put it above the line of four of blue. I'm going to go ahead and make the wheels. So to do that, we are going to the one below the... So where you see the window, the one below the window, we're going to start and you're basically going to put one bead and then put four around it. And then skip one and do the same exact thing to the other side. So we're going to start right here. So right there. I'm going to go ahead and make the stopper or whatever that's called. I'm not really sure what it's called. So on not this side but the other side by the wheel, we're just going to put two and then put another one. and start filling in the train colors so what we're going to do for the next three lines what we're going to do first you're going to put one right here and then fill up right here and then i'm going to go ahead and make the actual um the other side of the train so what we're going to do Go ahead and start where the blues were, and you're going to go ahead and make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a five by two square. So if you notice already, we actually need to do four by two because these two are actually already included. To finish this train up, we're going to go ahead and get out our grays, and we're going to do on top of the the so on top of the rectangle that you just made we're going to put two and then we're going to put one up two and then we're one diagonal is with our two extra ones what we're going to do go ahead and in the one that only has that has five or four squares we're going to go ahead and make sure it has three so fill up the two Now one last bead goes right here. Once you're done, go ahead and put your wax paper on and iron. And remember to be careful because for this one, it's going to be a bit hard to iron, so you might have to iron it a little bit much. Hope you guys enjoyed this really cute tutorial on this train. Make sure so next time, I'm going to do my five tips for your craft area. So let's go get started. Right now, I'm just going to say the tip and not do any explanation because I don't want this video to be super long. Tip number one, have a designated spot for your craft area. Tip number two, have a designated spot for everything on your craft area. Tip number three, keep your area clean. 
Tip number four, notice when supplies are low. Number five, finish the craft that you started in a timely manner. So I hope you guys learned a little bit and if you guys, I hope you guys this inspires you to make your craft area into a crafting journey of a lifetime. So here's, I am with my sister Haley. So we will always have a theme if um, I invite one of my sister or my friends over because it makes it more fun. And today's theme is would you rather. So Haley picked out three would you rather questions. Kind of weird. Even. Um, and we're going to answer them, so we don't want to take too much time, so no time to waste, let's go and get started. Okay, so the first would you rather, if you don't know what a would you rather is, just look it up on the internet. <laughs> would you yeah. rather have legs as long as your fingers, or have fingers as long as your legs? Well, either one, people probably look at you strangely, because you know. I would have legs, as, um, I would have fingers as long as your legs, wait, no, legs as long as your fingers would be cool, you whack around like a midget. I would do the opposite. I have fingers, so I could be like, ha, get out of my way. Because if you had small legs, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to run very fast or something. Next question, would you rather be able to run at 100 miles per hour or fly at 10 miles? Fly. Fly, yeah. Because I've always wanted to fly and soar mm -hmm. and everything. I don't really care about running, but flying would just be so fun. Yeah, I think that if you fly, if someone is chasing you, you could just fly because that person has to go rent a helicopter or a plane. Would you rather sweat mayo or have to poop a softball? Okay, this is when it gets, like, disgusting, but it's not, not that bad. You can still keep watching this. Um, okay, so both are disgusting. Oh, I guess I would. I'd have to say poop a softball. Nobody would see that. See, nobody would see that. But if you sweat mayo, they could probably yeah. see that. So probably I mean, poop and the good thing about pooping a softball is your it won't stink because softballs don't stink unless because they because they don't Boom. stink when they've been used so you won't have you'll have odor free <laughs> poop. So I just want to thank my sister Haley for getting the would you rather question together. She did get them off the internet so. Um, but we had a lot of fun filming this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Hamby Patterns. Don't forget to comment down below how you thought, like this video, and of course subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos. And I can't wait for the January 2014 contest. Make sure you guys enter. Congratulations. Again, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.